From the recent mass shootings to this national conversation about mental illness, we are suffering as a country right now while desperately seeking solutions to everything from gun violence to suicide. And that's why we are taking you on a journey now to Logan, Utah, to meet a couple with a cause that's doing just that, where a cup of coffee, a conversation, and a cutting edge concept is saving lives. Too many, words we hear far too often when talking to families and friends of veterans who've died by suicide. It's not just a veteran problem, it's a whole community problem. A problem Jamie Butters and his wife Mindy take personally. I know if this, if this would have been available at that point, he would be here today. Yeah, for sure. Jamie and Mindy's friend, veteran Herb Haller, was struggling with post-traumatic stress. You would have never thought anything was wrong with him. He seemed like the happiest person on earth. And his girlfriend actually tried to hide his guns from him, but he ended up finding them. And on June 6, 2021, Herb died by suicide, and the Butters realized they had to do more. Welcome to my coffee shop. That's why they turned their coffee shop, Cash Coffee Cafe, in Logan, Utah, into a safe place. I came up with the idea because we had a, another veteran bring in his guns and say, here, can you hold these for me? Anyone, specifically vets, struggling with suicidal thoughts. Safe is about two weeks old. Can now store their guns here while getting the counseling they need. A waiting period firearm free that the butters hope will help save lives lives like lee's jamie and mindy actually talked me down and it was the first time that i ever actually got real help lee who has asked us to protect his identity was injured by six ieds while serving in iraq he says his life was shattered my life pretty much fell apart and that was the first time I started getting suicidal tendencies. He had already attempted suicide three times until the Butters' mission moved him. They were genuinely concerned about what was going on, how I was feeling, what I needed. Help, this Navy vet said he needed too. Struggling with mental illness and alcohol, William also wanted to take his own life. Some things had happened at home. I didn't see no way out of it, so I grabbed my gun, threw it in my backpack, and went to leave. And as soon as I did that, my wife was on the phone. And on the other end of that phone call, Jamie Butters. I pretty much physically had to take his gun out of his hands, and it was a pretty scary moment. Wrestling that gun out of William's hands, convincing him to store it here in Cash Coffee Cafe. Right now, the gun I was going to use for myself is in the safe behind me. I truly believe if, if my wife wouldn't have gotten a hold of Jamie, I wouldn't be here. Today, the Butters say that safe holds three pistols, two rifles, and a knife. Securing those weapons and assuring these veterans their life is worth living. They're bringing their gun in, they're, we're putting their gun in the safe, and we're helping them find somebody to help them. And it's not like we just drop them off and call it a day. We actually point them in a direction to a counselor, somebody who can get them some help, somebody they can talk to. Silver Stars, Bronze Star. So far, vets like Williams say it's working. Jamie and Mindy have been so kind to my family and helping me out. These are true, two truly, truly amazing people. Now don't go far because someone who is helping the Butters with the counseling with the counseling side of the Cash Coffee and more on this mission is Kim Openshaw. He's a clinical social worker, marriage and family therapist, and he's someone who understands what it's like to lose a loved one who also served our country. So, Kim, why would you, wh why do you say that the Butters work is so cutting edge, allowing these veterans, others struggling with suicide to come into this coffee shop, turn in their gun, you know, put it in a safe there, and then seek counseling. It, it does seem so out of the box. It, well, it is out of the box. If you think historically, you know, we went with mental health being confined in caves and in dungeons and things like that. 
and moving finally into a community health center. And today, I think uh, the butters are on a cutting edge because they've opened up to the community a resource that is free and open. Uh, I don't mean free in terms of cost. I'm talking about free in terms of expression. And to be able to <clears throat> walk into that location, to be greeted by someone, to sit down at the table, have a coffee or a drink of some sort, and someone's there just to listen. You it's know, pretty exceptional. That, that is unique. And and you and have now helped the Butters actually put together this new nonprofit there in Logan, Utah, Community Family Coalition that focuses on mental health and getting these vets and members of the community teamed up with good counselors. Tell us about that, Kim. Well, you're absolutely right in terms of being able to bring them in and meet resources. And one of the uniquenesses of this particular business is that anyone can come. Any age can come. It doesn't matter if you're a vet or if you're not a vet. If you need some assistance, they're there for you. And not only they're there, but colleagues like Levi and Lee and Annie and Mindy and I could go on uh, are sitting there just ready to listen to you and, and hear what you have to say. And then to link with resources, to be able to go out in the community and say, we, we want to specifically link this person with this type of resource. So it's not just a resource, it's a specific resource as best as they possibly can. And they do that. They're excellent at that. Well, it's pretty remarkable. And they're lucky to have you too, helping them, advising them. I know you've helped with Veterans Affairs there locally in Utah, and now you're supporting them. Kim Openshaw, thank you so much for your time. Nice to be here. Thank you. Of course. And if you're struggling with thoughts of suicide or worried about a friend or a loved one, help is available. You can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255 for free, confidential, emotional support, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.